Two years of yelling about Nerf Blasters. That's where we are now. And quite frankly, I never expected my channel to go on for two years. I mean, I was going to be doing it for like a few months and then just be done with it. I never wanted to really get this involved in the Nerf tubing community, but you know, the more I've been making these videos, the more fun I've been having making these videos. Two years ago, I posted a Phoenix review, and I wore this mask right here with this visor goggle thing right there. And the reason is because I wanted to protect my identity, but I realized that some random idiot kid's face that looks like every other random idiot kid on the internet is really not going to give anything away to anybody, so it doesn't matter regardless. So, I just showed my face. It doesn't really matter. And these videos, well... I think they've gotten a lot better, at least since my first video. My first video was really bad. It was literally just me gushing about the Phoenix for 20 minutes because I thought it was so cool because I'd never had any blaster like it. And of course, ever since then, blasters have just, have just been getting simultaneously better and worse. I mean, <sighs> there's, there's, some, there's some very, very disgraceful things on this wall, and there's some very wonderful things on this wall, but that's not really the point. I have just... I think I've improved my video quality, and it's kind of my fault that I'm still a really small YouTuber because I took like a year off of doing YouTube because I really didn't think that anybody cared about my videos, and I'm very glad that I came back because I've learned quite a few things that I didn't even know about Nerf back when I did those other videos. And yeah, I've been nerfing for a really long time, but I've been kind of delusional, like off the charts when it comes to when it comes to actual nerf, like, things that are going on in the nerf world, all I really knew was whether or not a blaster was good or bad, whether or not a line was dying or something like that. Things that anybody could figure out. But I've gotten a lot more involved in the community, and I'm very glad that I did, because it's honestly been kind of life-changing for me. And as much as I would like this video to be like a motivational, yeah, because we've been doing this for two years, I'm going to be improving the quality of my videos and doing more things on this channel, I don't actually really know where else to go from here. I could film Nerf Wars, but I don't really go to any Nerf Wars outside from me nerfing with a few of my friends around here every now and again. And... I can't really do other things like skits because I've got an entire channel for skits that's called Pi- Excuse me? That's called Pineapple and Friends, and that channel's been dead since it started. So, I don't really know. I don't know what to do from here on out. And I'm open to suggestions. I will absolutely be open to any suggestions anybody has. I might be able to rank that that terrible nerf gun scene in the in the new Home Alone movie that came out a couple years ago that involves Mm, a disgrace to humanity. Disgraceful! But I don't know. Everybody's done that already. But, yeah. Suggestions, go for it. Tell me anything you'd like me to do. There's also a few reviews that I should probably just remake because they're already outdated. And I'm talking about the Centurion, Roto Fury, Ultra Pharaoh, and Ultra One reviews, which I recorded over a month ago. And the reason I never uploaded them was because I wanted to do a video series called Rapid Reviews. And because the, the, the style of my videos has changed so much in that short of a time span, I never got to finish those videos because they're completely outdated. They're very old. But with everything I've said so far, I'm actually pretty comfortable with the style and format that my videos are at right now. I'm just holding the camera forward. I've got one hand to talk about blasters, the other hand to hold the camera, and just going over my opinion, objective facts about the blasters, firing demos, and then saying whether or not I think that you should buy a blaster or not, adding some funny skits or whatever, putting, putting some music, putting an outro, and now putting Kingston's intro that he made for me in the videos. I don't really know. I mean, I'm happy with that format. It's easy, it doesn't take too long to do, and it's very fun to record. At the same time though, I feel like things could be better, but I don't know how. So if anybody knows how, because I don't have any money to get like any extra supplies or anything. Like I can't afford a premium video camera. I can't really get a green screen. And because Christmas is coming up so soon, it's like that's where all of our money's going to right now. So it's, 
it's kind of rough. It's really hard to think about things that I could do to improve my videos. One video that I have already made and will probably be going up on this channel pretty soon is the Rush 40 video. And one video that I want to make very badly is a video on the Flip 32 because I have a lot of things to say about that blaster that I feel like have been pretty much overshadowed because of my video on the Flip 16. It's like everybody just assumes the Flip 32 is gonna be even worse because the Flip 16 was really bad. But I've got quite a few things to say about the Flip 32 that you probably wouldn't expect but you can kind of expect it now I'm gonna say that it's good because I like that blaster and I'll explain why in the video but that's not the point of this I would just like to give a big thanks to all my fans and friends that I have met throughout the throughout the two years that I've been on this platform for making videos on nerf blasters everybody who has been supportive of me and helping me grow and giving me motivation to grow and keep making videos Y'all are the reason that I'm still making videos in the first place because I was not going to return like a few months ago when I did come back. I wasn't going to do that at all. I literally just signed on to this channel just to see what was going on if I had any extra notifications. And I saw all these people saying that they liked my videos and it just gave me a burst of motivation to start making videos again. So I just wanted to say that I really, really appreciated that. And it gave me a tremendous boost in self-motivation to actually come back and actually make some new videos and try and make my videos more professional, talk about more blasters, they, like try and get more involved in the Nerf community and I'm very, very happy that I did. So, thank you. Thanks to everybody watching this. And one very special video that I have planned for Christmas, I don't know if I should say what it is. Nah, I'm gonna save it as a surprise, but yeah. Thanks for watching this, and thanks for all the help and support that that all of you have given me over the years. I really appreciate it, and that is why this channel has been going for as long as it has, and why it will continue going as long as I can keep it going for. I might not be too inclined to make money off of YouTube because I got other plans in life, but I am happy that I did get involved with this hobby in this channel when I did. So thanks. I'll see y'all next time.